Today, Indians can live anywhere they want, and many choose to live off reservations in cities and towns, employed in the same sorts of jobs as other Americans. Thursa Defoe, a young Oneida girl, is being brought up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, rather than on a reservation. In Milwaukee, Thursa is exposed to many of the exciting things a big city has to offer. While there are thousands of children like Thursa who live off the reservation, there are thousands whose parents have chosen to remain there. Today, more than half a million Indians live on reservations located throughout the United States. Life here is much better than it used to be, and in some ways is similar to life anywhere else. Indians drive cars and live in modern dwellings like other Americans. They dress in modern clothing. They shop in stores. They go to movies. Many attend Christian churches. Indian children go to schools that look like schools anywhere and study the same kinds of subjects. They play the same sorts of games and enjoy the same things as other American children. While reservation life is a lot like life anywhere else, there are some big differences. Unemployment is still very high. On some reservations, four out of five people are out of work, and because of it, poverty is widespread. Some Indians, like these along the northwest coast, are fortunate to find seasonal employment in the fishing industry. This work pays a lot, but it's dangerous and only lasts for a few weeks in the summer, when the ocean salmon return to their spawning grounds. Some Native Americans are able to make modest incomes by making a variety of crafts that are sold to tourists. In the upper Great Lakes, Indians strip the bark from birch trees, which can be used to make a variety of items that can be sold in gift shops. On the plains, Indians are known for their work in porcupine quill work, which consists of wrapping dyed porcupine quills around sections of deer hide to create colorful items like these wrist cuffs and barrettes. Some plains men use pipestone to carve pipe bowls that are similar in style to bowls that have been carved for hundreds of years. Haida carvers of the northwest coast can earn thousands of dollars for beautiful sculptures carved out of argillite, a black stone found in their area. This is the sculpture of a raven. Other northwest coast tribes are famous for their carvings in wood like this shaman's rattle. It is similar to those that have been carved for countless generations. In the southwest, the Navajo are known for their fine silver work and for their woven rugs, which are prized throughout the world. And some Indian artists have taken beadwork to new artistic levels. But only a relatively few Indians have the necessary skill and talent to make a living out of crafts, and unemployment remains very high.